up YouTube, it's Turk. I'm back with another video. Did you guys miss me? I miss me, and I miss you too. I know it's been a little while, but you know, things been going on, and I kinda lost motivation, but I'm back. I know I gotta keep it moving. I just got 15K on that day in the life, life in the day, whatever you wanna call it. Is that 15K if you haven't seen that video? Check it out, check it out. Today is 19 years of 9-11, the memorial of 9-11. I can't call it an anniversary because it's not a celebration. It is the memorial of 9-11. And today I'm just going to talk about where I was during that time. I remember being in elementary school. We was going over math homework. A teacher from another class came to the door, which is located in the back of the room kind of signaled my teacher, Miss Torres, to come here. She immediately, like, kind of, her jaw kind of dropped, and she walked towards the door. And uh, the classroom is silent. It's dead silent. And the two teachers are talking at the door at this point. Like, I'm telling you, like, the class is silent, and they're talking. You can see their mouths moving, but there's no sound coming out, at least from what I can remember. Like, you don't hear the teacher speaking. It was like... They put like a shadow around for their conversation. The mouse was moving. We couldn't hear anything. Mind you, the class was silent. I don't know why we couldn't hear them, but they were speaking to each other. Miss Torres came back to the front of the class and she's just looking at the back wall, like staring at, like daydreaming, staring at the back wall and says, a plane just flew into the World Trade Center. Now, my first thought being in elementary school is, what the hell is the World Trade Center? But before I could finish that thought, she was like, I'll be right back. She goes to the teacher's room. The teacher's room is this glass, like it looked like a glass box is where the teachers talk and um, also they eat their lunch. It was like their lunch room or whatnot, but like, this room just so happens to be near the boys' bathroom, where I was heading at the time. So uh, I remember going towards the bathroom, and I took a peek into the teacher's room. Mind you, it's glass, so I don't have to be in it. I can be outside of it and still see it's glass. So I can still see, and the all the teachers from the school is in the lunchroom or the teacher's room and they're surrounding this little box TV with the antenna on it and they're showing coverage of the World Trade Center and the first thing I can see is people jumping from 80 stories high or even higher out of the building onto the ground there was no safety net down there there was no firefighters holding like anything no parachute type of thing like they was just jumping they didn't show where they landed of course on the news but they showed them jumping out of the building and you could see their arms flailing and there was there was no end game there was no end game I remember seeing that and maybe five seconds later, I seen another plane hit the tower and then it crumbled. So you have no idea right, right I now? I have another one. Another plane just hit. <gasps> right? oh. oh my God. Another plane has just hit. It hit another building. Flew right into the middle of it. Explosion. My God, it's right in the middle of the building. This one into the east top. Yes. Yes. Right in the middle of the building. And right now, that, yes, that was definitely looked like it was on purpose. You saw a yes, plane? Yes, I just saw a plane go into the building. Why do you say that was definitely on purpose? It, because it just, it just flew straight into it. I went to the bathroom. I still didn't understand the magnitude of it. Ms. Torres probably came back to the room about 10 minutes later. And she told us the news. And again, we're kids. We're just like, oh, okay. Like, nobody understood the magnitude of it. We 
kids. We don't know what that is. We don't know what's going on. I'm like, all right, it's a plane accident. We didn't think it was an attack. At least the kids. Maybe about 20 minutes later, we hear over the intercom something about an early dismissal. And uh, maybe 10 minutes after that, my dad came to pick me up. It was 2001. My dad had just became a firefighter in Boston three years prior. Again, I didn't understand the magnitude, but when he picked me up and I asked what's going on, he put everything into perspective. I got it then. New York is around the corner from Boston, so I could just imagine, like, you know, the first responders running there, trying to do their best to save all these people, being blinded by the fog from the building that's crumbling. Um, that's just a little about of where I was. I would like to hear everybody's story. Where was you during 9-11? Leave in the comments, DM me. I'm always open for a conversation. I'm turking them out. Dad, what's wrong?